Hey guys, welcome to Hip Use History. We're going to take three minutes to explain a vocabulary word that hits U.S. history kids at the head on the exam, and that's the Grange. What is it? What do they want? What do they get? There you go. Let's do a little bit of the learning on the YouTubes. Ding dong. Here we go. So the easiest way to remember the concept is the stupidest way in the world. I'm going to do home, home on the Grange. Where the, I'm not going to sing that song, but that should at least remind you, and of course the song is Home on the Range, that we're talking about some kind of the out west kind of feature of American history. We're talking about late 19th century, really as we're kind of the height of laissez-faire economics and we're kind of rushing towards the progressive era. The Grange is sort of kind of in the middle there. And we're talking about farmers. And really, at the end of the day, the Grange is really about farmer hate and how they deal with that farmer hate because farmers be hating. Farmers be hating on gold and on banks and on railroads. And once we understand like where that hate derives itself from, we can understand what they want and obviously the effect of what they get. Um, but definitely the Grange is kind of like a union of farmers. It's a cooperative, not a labor union in the traditional sense, but it's where farmers are meeting, farmers are talking, farmers are sometimes pooling their resources so they can have more power against the railroads. But definitely that's what it is. What, what's their problem, baby? Well, they're definitely angry at the railroads because the railroads are a monopoly and farmers depend on the railroads. So one thing that was occurring because of industrialization is farmers were taking out larger loans in order to you know, keep pace with industrialization, with the machinery, to produce more product. And when that happens, you get the problem of overproduction. You have a surplus of crops. You have a whole bunch of bananas and they're turning brown and they ain't worth anything. So you owe money you know, to warehouse it and you owe money for the labor. You owe money to the bank for the loan for the tractor. All of this, and you can't pay it back and now the railroads are overcharging you. So you're angry at uh, definitely railroads and you're angry at banks because of the loan system but also because of the gold standard. Um, the gold standard in a sense can limit the money supply in the mind of some economists because there's only so much gold. So when you only have a limited supply of gold, the bank has a limited supply of money and farmers are hating on the gold because they can't get the loan. So farmers are loving on the silver. With a silver currency you'd have an expanded money supply according to the theory and farmers would have a better chance of taking out loans. Um, so at the end of the day what do they want? They really want railroad regulation. Let's only stick to one so you can write about it. And eventually they're going to get it. It's called the Hepburn Act. It's one of the first major pieces of American legislation that's going to regulate industry. It's going to have the government's power getting in the way of free market capitalism. And it's going to regulate kind of the maximum amount of money that you can be charged on the railroad. So farmers baby home, home on the range where the kids Kids are learning on YouTube all day. Click my face for some more hip use history. I hope you got the word now. And remember where attention goes, energy flows. We'll see you next time we do some more of the teaching on the internet.